Welcome to another video guys. Welcome to another video. And I've been using Lightroom for a very long period of time. It's my go-to tool to use when it comes to editing my photos. I bring them onto Lightroom first, select, color grade. Then if I wanna make any adjustments, I'll do them in Photoshop. But Lightroom has added some additional tools recently in the masking feature that have been really powerful. And some of them make me not even move into Photoshop when it comes to, you know, small, small changes. So in this tutorial, I want to share with you one of the tools and how powerful it is when it comes to grading your image. So let's jump into Lightroom right now and I'll show you exactly what that tool is. Okay guys, so in this tutorial, I want to show you how I would generally grade this image. Um, if I were to add a little bit more blues in this area in the background, what I'll generally do is drop down here and increase the blues so that I can make it a little bit more blue in the background over there. And this is one way you can edit the image and it looks perfectly fine. But the feature that I'm going to be sharing with you today for the masking makes it even, you know, 10 times better. So. If you wanted to generally change kind of like the color temperature for this image, you would come here to the temperature the slider and move it maybe to the left side and the overall image would then turn more blue. But what if you just want to affect the blue areas and not affect the areas which have kind of like the orangish tone? I would go up here, select the masking feature and right now I've just deselected it, but I will delete these right now so that you can actually see what I'll do. So I'll select the color range tool over here in the masking feature, I'll add a new mask color range, and I will select this area over here, which is like the blue area. So it's gonna mask just the blue tones in this image. And then what I can do is I can push the temperature dial now to the blue side. And I will show you the difference, because the difference right now, you might not see the difference, but I'll show you the difference. So this is, the edit with the masking feature, the color range masking feature. I'll switch it off and I'll go down now to how I used to, you know, edit some colors. So I would increase the blues over here. As you can see, it's very different. It's affecting some portions of the blues, but in this area over here, it's not affecting this area where it kind of has a magenta tone. Uh, I will switch this off in the HTL. H I'll switch this off in the HSL slider and then I'll switch the masking tool back on. The edit is totally different. So I can now tweak it again. Let me just click on this one and then just increase it a little bit. So this is how it looks. As you can see, it's a gradual blue and it's affecting just the blue area. This is with the tool that I've just shown you, the masking tool, and this is without using the HSL. So you can see the difference with the masking tool and without. So the, the colors are just more vibrant and you're just affecting the temperature in one specific area. I love that. It's freaking amazing. So I'll go here and uh, I can add and out of the mask and maybe just affect another color range. So I'll click color range and I'll select these kind of like orangish tones and I can make them more warmer. I can increase the saturation of these tones as well. Change the hue over here. So it's only affecting that area, right? So I'll just change that back. And I'll just do a before and then after, before, after. So this tool is super powerful and you can use it in so many different ways. Generally, if you're trying to change the temperature of your image, you're changing the entire image. But with this tool, you're actually able to change just a specific area if you want to retain uh, a specific uh, warmth in the lights and have just the background uh, more blue. I can even go here and actually increase a bit of the magenta in the background. I can make the background a bit more warmer, right? So I can play around with just the background, the color range of the background and affect the entire mood of the image. Again, let me just move that to where it was before, bring in more blues here. So this is such a powerful tool and it's made me reduce my editing in Photoshop and there are additional tools that I'm gonna be sharing with you in, a, in the coming videos um, because they're really 
adding some awesome features in Lightroom that I'm really enjoying and they're allowing me to have more control in the areas that I want to uh, affect rather than before I was just you know doing adjustments global adjustments that were affecting the entire image so with more control it means uh, a better image that uh, you can color grade more control in your color grading process which is awesome let me know what you think about the tool let me know one of your favorite features in Lightroom uh, and uh, that's it for me today. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll catch you guys on the next one. As always, remember to stay safe and stay creative. Bit of a cold, chilly day here in Arusha, hence the sweater. Hopefully the weather changes soon. Peace out.